The Devonshire Arms is a busy village tied pub. It belongs to a pub company, not the licensee. She says they charge so much for the rent and for the beer she sells, £150,000 a year, there's nothing left for her. There's no other business in the world where you'd rent a building off somebody to run your business and they'd force you to buy their product off them. It's ludicrous. And when that company's making hundreds of thousands out of a business and the person running the business can't make ends meet, something somewhere has got to be done about it. With pubs closing every day in Britain, the government is promising to act. It plans to force the six biggest pub companies to play fair. A code of practice will be drawn up to protect tied licensees, backed by an adjudicator. What's in the code will be decided after a consultation. Outside a shut and boarded up tied pub in his hometown of Otley, MP Greg Mulholland, whose campaign for the legislation, says some pub companies are deliberately charging too much rent and must be stopped. The large pub companies in this country um, are based on a, a business model of, uh, of over rentalisation of taking more than is fair and reasonable from pub profits, in many cases preventing the licensee from, uh, from even earning a living or earning very, very little, which is clearly um, wholly unacceptable. So the code will have provisions to deal with that and the key phrase is that the government have committed that a tied licensee will not be worse off than a free of tie licensee. At the Devonshire Arms, the plans will be welcomed. Regulars want their village pub to be a viable business. If this place was forced to close, the, the village would you lose a massive, massive asset. It would be awful. It would just show that that was the state of the nation, that even in an affluent part of Sheffield, that pubs are being boarded up and there isn't the money to make them keep being viable. The question now is how soon will the code be brought in and will it stop more pubs closing? Gerard Tubb, Sky News, South Yorkshire.